Hey, vlogalog. In case you missed me last week, my name is Jonathan Carlin. I am one half of the Super Carlin Brothers. I'm filling in for Victoria again this week, and again, I'm sorry. But I am excited about this week because we're talking about circles. And I tell you, back in my kindergarten days, I was quite a whiz with circles. I made a mean block pattern. And circle-based games, ring around the rosy, duck, duck, goose, ha, champion. But I also had quite the circle of friends back then. Well, two, anyway. I'm more like a triangle of friends, I guess. Only three of us. Although I guess you can draw a circle around any three given points. This is not a very good example. You know, this isn't math class, this is vlog log. And like I said, I was excited to uh, talk about this this week, uh, circles of friends and stuff, because actually this last week I was just pondering what is best friendship? Um, like, if someone asked me, who's my best friend, who would I say? Because I do have so many, like, circles of friends from which I can draw an answer from, and yet, best kind of suggests that it would, like, supersede any situation, and they would be your best friend no matter what. So, uh, this was kind of my thought process. If someone asked me, who was my best friend? Well, the honest answer is probably my girlfriend, Beth, who I spend most of my time with on the weekends. I talk to her every single day. I probably know her better than any other human I know on the planet. And yet, I don't think that's really the answer you'd be looking for if you asked me who is your best friend, because she's my girlfriend. I mean, it's almost a given that she's my best friend. It's kind of like, yeah, but, but who, but who, but who else, right? I mean, it's probably not a given if you've only been dating for like a month, but you know, give it another seven years, you'll get there. Um, so then the next obvious answer feels like my brothers. Plural, I know that's still not best. Best suggests one, but I think you can have a, a group of best friends that all acknowledge one another. Uh, yeah, so my brothers, though, Ben and Ty, I would say, are probably my best friends. I grew up with them, obviously. I, um, I love spending time with them still. We talk a lot. I hang out with them whenever I can. Obviously, Ben and I share a YouTube channel. Um, seems like an easy answer. Except it's kind of the same thing. It's like almost a given, like, oh, it's your brother, you love them unconditionally, you know? That's, it's friendship, it's unconditional friendship is what your brother is to you, right? So I'm not really sure they count for that either. So who was the best stranger I've ever met and now enjoy spending time with? Um, I, again, this is more of a group. Uh, it's still an easy answer, I think, for me. There is a, a group of friends I have from high school. Actually, Ben is a part of it, but it's me, Ben, and two other guys, Mike and John. We are collectively known as the Green Mallard Association, which makes no sense because none of us have anything to do with ducks or hunting or anything like that. We chose a color and an animal and a, a word for a group and, I don't know, it just stuck. So, we're the GMA, as it were. Um, and the four of us all continue to acknowledge that the other three are our best friends. We have a running group text that all of us contribute to every single day. Um, and yet, I don't see them very often, with the exception of Ben. Like, we kind of have this standing agreement to try and hang out together at least like four times a year or something, but it's, you know, very difficult, and I think when you grow into adulthood, you'll find that um, when you have four different sets of schedules, plus significant others, and vacation times, and different work hours, it's not always easy to make that time to hang out with people, even if they are your best friends. So, on the other side of things, I actually have a different group of people that are geographically in the same place as me, as well as, you know, professionally and economically and socially, just about. And I see them all the time, and I really enjoy hanging out with them as well, and it's much easier to plan to do things with them, and I get a lot more uh, face time with them, and it's like a, a, like a building relationship, so I don't have the same history, the same crazy stories with them, but I do see them much more often, and I actively will, you know, can hang out with them more, so I don't know, it's, you know, they're, they're yeah, they're my best friends, they're, they're great, I love hanging out with them. Um, but so is, you know, is it, is it face-to-face -face time that makes it the most important, or is it, like, the history you share with someone? And, um, like, speaking of face-to-face -face time, though, that can bring up a whole couple extra sections there, because, like, I have online friends, like, I do this YouTube thing, you know, uh, through them, that's why I'm on Vloglog here, because I've made some online friends, like, through DK and, um, you know, Panic and Foot of a Ferret, you guys should check out their channels, they're very good. Um, but, yeah, so I have, I have these online friends who I've never met face-to-face, -face, but 
you know, I couldn't continue to do this day in and day out if they weren't there. I can chat with them, I can get advice from them, or just throw stupid ideas at them, and they kind of understand it in a way that my real-life non-YouTuber friends uh, understand. And then, on the opposite end of that spectrum are, like, my work friends, who I probably spend the most amount of face time with, like, eight hours a day, five days a week. And they're my friends, I'm friends with them, but I don't really do much socially with them, per se. I mean, and even if I do have a friend at work who I do a lot of social things work with, um, I've noticed that if they stop working where I work, we tend to not spend nearly as much time together, even outside of work. So, I don't know, I, you know, spending too much face time, not necessarily increasing, and not having any face time, also actually increasing um, some friendships. So, I, I don't know, there's so many different layers and things to consider, like, with, with that question, which seems so simple. But here's the real kicker, I think, is that if someone does ask you that, even though there's all these different groups, I think you immediately know the answer. It, w it does rise above. You can name your best friend if someone asks you. No matter the situation, no matter the time pass, no matter how far apart you live, you know who it is. And I don't know. I guess my question for everyone is what what do you think is the most important part? Or what do, what is the most important part for you and your best friend? Is it the acknowledgement that you are best friends? Is it where you live, the most time spent together, the most history? I don't know. I would love to hear you guys' responses, though. I will, again, try and respond as much down in the comments as I can. Um, thank you to Vloglog for letting me fill in for Victoria for the past couple of weeks. I'm not sure who they've got coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Super Carlin Brothers, you should totally go do that. We upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, that's it for me. I will see you in the comments, and I'll see y'all in another life.